Yeah. It's all about parenting. And that's what they yes. were saying on Twitter. But so it's the kids without dads prone to aggression, right? The Absolutely. boys. The kids whose parents are absent or uh, aren't teaching morals, as you said, there's no moral development, right? That's a problem. Yeah. But then isn't the bigger problem the amount of aggression that they see in the home? Yes, I was going to say, yeah. family discord when yeah. people stay together, but yeah. they're always fighting. It's actually worse for the kids in terms of later outcomes than if they just get a divorce. The kids are stressed out for a period of time, but then they get over it. Like 16-year-old boys, you know, I'll just at that age, around that age, teenage boys have a disproportionate level of rage and anger because of their oh. hormonal makeup. Yeah. Well, you know, yeah. those, there we go. So there's a thing called the amygdala, which is down here. Am I locating it properly? No, yes. The amygdala is down in here, and it's this this part of the brain which develops later in life shuts down during adolescence from remodeling. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And this is the part that this is the part that this is the part it does, and this is the part that, that contains the rest of the brain, all the all the other emotions that are down in the deeper areas of the brain here, and in the amygdala here is the part that that sort of triggers rage let's say That's it triggers right. rage and the, and adolescents love operating from this system it's gratifying yes. to them and it's all they have is things that activate that that's how they guide their behavior and if, if, if somebody else who does who has a functioning frontal lobe like an adult doesn't superimpose on top of this mm -hmm. all you get is that amygdala what what part of the so brain you're saying when they're uh <laughs> When the whatever the amygdala, whatever well said. when it, when it yes. thinks, I said it. You're yes. a professional when it, broadcaster. When it shuts down, I'm gonna. No, no, the frontal lobe. Shuts okay, down. when the frontal lobe shuts portal. down and they're looking for gratification, then that's where social media really does cause harm with yeah. teenagers mm -hmm. because it's instant mm -hmm. gratification. It's yeah. Exactly. Yeah. But on top of that, could it just be impressionable kids? Because I oh. came from a two-parent household. I came from a great upbringing. Like I went to church every Sunday. I knew about my morals, yeah, and I have... still found myself in that mob, in still that pushing way. around with yeah. these people. But, but you weren't still stomping still heads and throwing yeah. pumpkins. You're, you're not, she, you bring up a good True, point. True, but yeah. I still felt myself in a mob and like, kind of like, whoa, I'm here. Let's move. Totally we're right. going to do this. I knew, I knew kids, I knew kids I that know. were ter okay. terrible children. I mean, they, they, they grew up to be career criminals that had the best parents that tried so desperately hard. And I'm not trying to, look, obviously that's probably, I'm, that's, that's an probably an anomaly. That's an exception. But at the same time, you can't sit here and say, we have to always blame the parents. You don't no, really no, no. know. We're not, we're not, I don't want to blame the parents. Generally you're speaking. Victim, but you were just saying yeah. in terms of solving the problem, but you bring up some religion. Because the, what you're describing is a normal human thing. Humans are prone yes. to mob behavior. We all go it's to like football Lord of the games, flies. But we're prone to it. And mm -hmm. particularly at that early developmental age when this stuff is yeah. shutting down, that's when we're prone to it. And it's right. it's but for the grace of God that our parents contain it. But if you yes. got swept into a mob, oh you, you notice you didn't lead the mob, you didn't act out within but the mob. Like, you had some, but you well, weren't no, developed but, to the point where you could. Yeah, that wasn't your job to stop yeah. it, Vanessa. <laughs> and that kind of human like condition of wanting to belong to something, that's especially prevalent in teens. We're yeah. trying to figure out who we are, yeah. identity issues. Like that's why you were so susceptible, even though you had a great and normal upbringing. Yeah. So Vanessa, that's a point. Wait, of normal uh, real quick though, yeah. Vanessa, honestly, no, all kidding aside, don't you think it's high time that we all stop dancing around? And the reason I direct this question to you is because as a, uh, as a Latino, don't you think it's high time that this country stops dancing around uh, the issue of African American and Latino homes disproportionately mm -hmm. have no father at home? Oh, absolutely. In comparison to other uh, uh, ethnic groups, it's it's astronomical the difference in how many uh, African American and Latino homes uh, kids grow up without a father. Yeah, it's, absolutely. It's, but then it, it because it's it that is like a racial thing. It's like black families, Latina families. It's not. It's sometimes not deemed America's problem. Right. And right. so, I mean, we've talked about this before and other issues. Until it becomes a nationwide America, we have a problem. It's just section off, like you know, well, African Americans will figure that out. Yeah. The Latinos will figure it out. Maybe they'll get married. Maybe yeah. their people well, won't. And it just kind of stays either, there. Well, Absolutely. Right. Lead them out of, rather, rather than blame a lot of other things, let's you know, heal it from within. And this is where the protective adults come in. I've talked to so many people who say, yes, I didn't have my dad in the home. My mom was kind of off doing her own thing. But the coach, you know, at my school, like, well, he one really positive, told me, this, this, we, we just need one. One yeah. positive relationship outside the home cha yep. changed the trajectory. Of, what, what? <laughs> I love how, like, no, I want to talk to the camera. It's just one, it's it's just one, and one positive relationship though. is enough to, to change the trajectory of a kid's life. But that's been sustained over a long time. Sustained over yeah. a long time, consistent yeah. person. Yeah, yeah. All right. you guys Sustained heard it. Over a long time. Uh, let us know. Do you blame the parents? And like Vanessa, she shared a personal story. Have you ever gotten caught up in a mob? Uh, let us know.